Hi, I'm Mei Yi. I am third generation at Taishan Medical Hall. I'm here with my brother Thomas, my sister Mei Si. Thomas, Mei Si and I are the third generation handling the day-to-day -day operations at the company. Taishan Medical Hall was started by our paternal grandfather in 1955. It's a heritage brand in Singapore now. The name Taishan is actually quite significant. It is the name of one of the five most famous mountains in China. To my grandfather that time, it's significant signified a very good foundation for him. He hoped for it to be a new beginning for himself. Many people tell me traditional Chinese medicine is very inaccessible. Many people tell me as well that they are not educated enough about traditional Chinese medicine to have the confidence to try it out even. So I hope that today I will be able to share more with you and provide an introduction guide to traditional Chinese medicine. This is a chest of drawers that is an antique, the most traditional part of a medical hall. It's more than 100 years old and we house more than 600 over raw herbs in here. This is Hawthorne. It's very commonly used as part of prescriptions because it's excellent for helping with digestion. This is not really medicine, it's a fruit. That's why there are a lot of teas that also use this. This is aged orange peel. It's completely different from if we eat orange at home and then we peel out and we dry them. These are actually very old. So orange peel is very interesting because it's very nice and citrusy but at the same time it has a very nice mellow taste and its purpose is actually to li qi meaning that it actually strengthens and gives qi to your lungs. So people who have been coughing for a very long time it does strengthen the lungs and help the lungs to not feel so tired. This is the preparation area within our medical hall where we have a lot of equipment that we use all the time, every day. Over here, we have the slices. Uh, for example, ginseng will have to be sliced in order for customers to have it as a tea. These are very, very important as part of a traditional medical hall. These are toasters. We have to heat up certain types of herbs in order for them to be soft before they can actually be sliced. And we have our grinders as well because we will grind some of the tonics and herbs into fine powder for customers. We have many mortars and pestles. There are certain herbs that have to be broken into small pieces to have larger surface area. Or there can be certain types of herbs which have very high aromatic oil content and we will actually crush them before we put them into prescriptions or before we put them into different kinds of products. This is the other traditional part of our medical hall where we have a lot of herbs and tonics which are available for customers to choose. You will see lots of ginseng, bird's nest, cordyceps and when I say traditional, I mean that the things over here need to be prepared in some way. This is red lingzhi. There are many different kinds of lingzhi with different colours and red lingzhi is the one that actually has the medical properties. This is this part of the mushroom family is a type of fungus. They are in this traditional part of our medical hall because they need to be sliced before they can be used. This is the way they are after they have been sliced. Lingzhi is used for boosting immunity, strengthening the body and enhancing metabolism. This is one of the most commonly used herbs in my opinion and we highly recommend it for people who are tired. Customers can buy them to use them as part of tea or soup. In our medical hall, we have a category of dried seafood. Traditionally, people will come and buy and use it in feasting, like during Chinese New Year or daily use. So we have sea cucumber. These are from Australia. They will expand about five to six times. These are fish maw, which are gaining in popularity because now customers do not want to take any shark's fin. We also stopped selling shark's fin about 10 years ago. These are Japanese scallop, which make soups really tasty. This is the modern section of the medical hall. Modern section meaning that they are actually time-tested formulations which are manufactured into modern dosage forms like teas, pills, tablets and capsules. These are herbal supplements manufactured in Singapore, pill form. This is a supplement for ladies to improve metabolism and blood circulation. This is a version for men to nourish the kidneys because in traditional Chinese medicine, the kidney is the most important organ for men. What's available here are teas which taste good and are very healthy. We will recommend these to customers to say that they don't want to cook. There's a combination of different kinds of herbs and also flower teas. And together, they will serve a certain function. Like for example, this is to enhance vision and to make the eyes less tired. 
Singapore has a special reputation for topical medicaments like oils, balms and patches. This is a very, very special category of products for us at Taishan because my grandfather actually made the effort to combine a lot of local ingredients into the formulations. We have a nutmeg oil. Nutmeg plantations used to be very rampant in Singapore and this nutmeg oil is actually to help relieve flatulence in the stomach. This is an oil called aloe, green grass oil to help stop bleeding and it's applied on cuts and wounds. The way that we have formulated it over the years is that we've added aloe vera. So aloe vera will make it less painful, especially when children want to use it. A lot of progress has already been made to make all these herbal remedies available in very easily accessible, convenient forms. Over here at Taishan, we really try very hard to educate. Education is a very big part of helping customers adopt traditional Chinese medicine. I hope that after watching this video, everyone will give an opportunity to traditional Chinese medicine. I do hold a lot of sentimental feelings towards uh, this entire trade and our business. And I remember the hopes and aspirations that my grandfather shared with me. Something that I really hope we'll be able to see a revival, especially with the young. Don't give up on something that is part of our culture, having been around for so long.